recently quoted as saying that his knee is like the knee of a 90-year-old man. Last time you and I talked, you were thinking, there's things that you want, but it depends on what Sergio wants. What do you want right now? I mean, I think Sergio's given you a pretty good clue on things, but, um, you know, Sergio will make whatever announcement he's going to make, you know, when he's ready. Given his explanation about how his knee is feeling 90, do you think that maybe he wasn't really ready to go into that fight with Cotto in, in hindsight? There's no hindsight. I think he believed at the time that, that he was. Obviously, what happened in the ring showed that there was a real problem. Yeah. I mean, he went to the top um, knee surgeons in the world after the fight, and and you know I, I think that some of the the advice he had gotten in Spain from from doctors there wasn't the same advice he would have gotten from the top knee guys in New York. Um, I, I think that 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 he he believed he was Sergio Martinez would never would never defraud the audience or himself or you know he he, he wouldn't do that. He he went into that fight believing he could do it and that and that his knee would hold up. Um, so. So I mean, 2020 hindsight, you can't rely on 2020 hindsight. What are the but I, oh, God. I, I uh, I'm pretty sure that Sergio will be making an announcement about his future, his future, in, in, in the not too distant future. You're not going to give me any clue on about what it's going to be. I think. I mean, what did he? What did, you, you just gave me a quote. What did I say to you? All right. Okay. All right. I have to ask. Okay. Um, what did the top knee guys tell him? They had. Um, they were looking at, 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 at the potential for doing a, a major, major surgery. Um, they wanted him to go through some rigorous physical therapies first. Um, he, you know, he did that, and, and then you, you, you read the quote I read. Yep. You and I spoke after the fight with Cotto, and you and I were both of the opinion at the time that maybe that was, he was concussed and that's why his legs were bothering him. Do we think now that really the knee was bothering him going in, and it was that I combined know, I mean, with I, the, the I think there were obviously, you know, obviously had very se severe knee, knee issues, and he had knee issues that, that were with him for fights long before that fight. Yeah. You know, his knee wasn't perfect for Chavez or probably any other, any other fights he had. Mm -hmm. but, he, but he was used to fighting through pain, and I think he thought that his knee would hold up and would be okay for the the Kodo fight. Um, you know, he, he still may very well have been concussed because he, he, he wasn't, you know, you know, he got hit he got hit hard, but I, but I'm you know obviously his knee's an issue. But right now, I mean, you know, Sergio's the one that gave you the quote you asked me about. Mm -hmm. I think you could just listen to him. Alright. You said Lamont will be able to keep the beard? That's my understanding. Okay. Okay.